Bond Lab uh, 8 has such a rich uh, amount of features that uh, it has to hide some of it. You can't really have everything up on the screen at a time. But uh, sometimes that can make things a little bit tricky to find if you don't know what you are looking for. Let's take the transform panel. So I have these actions here. But if we actually pull this out, there's a bunch more options. There's a uh, slant upwards and downwards and then some more alignment things. So if you're on a laptop or something, you might want to try just opening up some of these to a, a wider view so that way you can find more of the things. If we go to the elements panel, that's pretty important. Let me see if I go into this one. Okay, okay. This is good. Whoops, I don't want to move that. <laughs> Sorry. Getting used to this trackpad. Okay, okay. In the elements panel, open that up, and then you the first hidden thing is this here, and that gives you all the transformations. And I tend to have that up all the time. This next one shows you from where it is located, and this one I guess is only here. And then let's close that one back up. Uh, well, I'll open it up and I'll just show you an example if I can find a good one. Yeah, here like this U, you can see all the things that have the U, and this is all clickable down there. So say if you want to go to this one, double click and it brings you over there. Or if you're in the glyph window, you click this, it's going to bring you over there. Whoops. Okay, okay. I'm not sure what I did. Okay, but you can sort of see how that works there. Okay, now if you close that up and this one, let's go back to not deaf. Oops, not deaf. O oh, dot not. Okay, there we go. Now this one here, you can push this arrow to expand the properties. And then you have a bunch of more stuff down here. And this is for components. The ones that have the little building blocks like this, not the elements, uh, which are the uh, CR tutorials on that. <laughs> so, okay. So this shows that this is the exclamation component, uh, component, and it's at a slope of zero and a weight of 130. So if for some reason we want to adjust that, you can do that down here. And we've adjusted that more heavy, and you can see, let's scroll back up. You can see this got a lot thicker. If I do that with this one, you can see if I increase the weight, then this all of a sudden got thicker like that. Let me show you over here too. Okay. So that is really helpful when you're making small caps, superiors, all that type of thing, but it is hidden. Okay, let's close that up. Other things, layers and masters panel for your for your recipes and all that stuff, you push this button here. So this one I usually have up all the time as well. Okay, and the next one we're going to look at some, in the font info, some things that are hidden over there.